Hello there, <coughs> denizens of the internet. I'm sorry, but as you can tell, I've, I've got a very bad cold. So there won't be any post today. I'm, I'm very, very sorry. Oh. Hello there. Tim Cook. Tim, um, this is a surprise. Yeah, a, a pleasure to, to, to meet you. Um, what's the occasion? Oh, oh, you're not happy with my Apple criticisms. Uh, I'm just calling them as I see them. I mean, besides, look, um, am I missing something? You're a trillion dollar company and I'm a 15,000 subscriber YouTuber. I, I don't think you have a lot to be concerned about me. Oh, oh, uh, people at Apple are watching my videos. Oh, that, that's cool. Uh, you, you don't you don't think it's cool? Okay, look, look, yes, yes. I ripped your Mac Pro update back in 2017. I mean, come on, Tim. Two years to stuff a processor, a graphics card, and a power supply into a box? I mean, you know, how hard is that? Yes. Yeah, yes, I was particularly scathing regarding June's WWDC. And then, yes, uh, you, you didn't like my, you know, Apple is brand raping you video. Uh, I, I, I can understand that. Oh, okay, okay, but listen, uh, look, you know, I, I have this clip of you talking to CNN. I, I'm going to play it for you. I, I want you to listen to this. Yeah, let me roll the words. Oh, here it is. We believe that if we do the right thing for our users, if we put them at the center of our experience, which we always do, and, uh, and we're focusing on innovating and delivering the right products, that the results, which are things like market cap and revenues and profits, that that, that will come from doing these things right. So we focus over here. Hey, if you do the right thing for your users, it's us, and, and put us in the center of the experience, I mean, then why did you take useful ports out of the MacBook Pro? I mean, these are things that we use daily. Why would you take them out if you're doing this for us? Oh, oh, you're, you're innovating. Yeah, the, doing the brave thing. Yeah, uh, well, you created a billion dollar dongle business. Well, um, that wasn't the right thing for us. Clearly, uh, you didn't put us at the center of our Mac experience. No, I, I get it, Tim. After three years now, how many peripherals are available to USB-C? Oh, oh, lots. Then how about your own iPhone? Okay, okay, we, we, we don't have to talk about that. Right, fine. Uh, now, uh, you didn't call me just to complain about my vlogs, did you? I mean, you have more important things to do, like coming up with new memojis. <laughs> Sorry, what? You want me to talk to Phil? Phil Schiller? Because he saw my review of the September iPhone and Apple Watch rollout and now he refuses to come out and, and, and do any more presentations. He's become despondent and you need him. Uh, how am I going to help? No, 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 I don't want to talk to Phil. Uh, hi, hi, Phil. Yeah, yeah, N nice to meet you, yeah. Uh, Sorry about the fat joke. Yeah, yeah, that was cheap, but I mean, you know, Apple's emphasis on Apple Watch fitness. I mean, I, I couldn't help it. Uh, I, I understand that Apple employees can be very cruel. Well, especially in the lunchroom, sure. No one sits with you. Well, that, that, that's got nothing to do with me. Doesn't Apple have any psychologists? Yes, I, I've been somewhat relentless criticizing Apple, but it's mostly about, you know, the very poor Mac hardware support. Uh, that's not my fault. I love the Mac OS. Many of us love the Mac OS. I mean, come on, your 2014 Mac Mini was worse than your 2012 Mac Mini. I, did, I didn't do that. Uh, you haven't updated your 2013 Trash and Tosh since it was released. It's nothing personal. Oh, you hate when I call it the trash and tosh. Well, what, what am I uh, supposed to call it? Oh, oh, an example of less than optimal channel performing hardware. Look, I don't work for Apple. Y yes, yes. My criticism of your presentation garb was cruel. And, and in episode 27, where I said you were so unctuous that I had to take a delousing shower every time you said something. Uh, oh, you, you never saw that episode. Uh, I, I suggest you don't watch it. Phil, 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 look, 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 come on. Cl look, I get it. Tim just told me he needs you. Yeah, 
Yeah, he did. Look, you've been there almost from the beginning. Yeah, you and Steve were the dynamic duo of those groundbreaking presentations. No, you were. Every time there was Steve, there you were. You are the marketing director for crying out loud. You can't have a marketing director moping about. Steve loved you. Okay, sure, he was cruel to you on occasion, but, but he's dead now. Tim needs you. You you're feeling better now? Good. Uh, can you can you put Tim back on the phone? Hi there. Yeah, I, I think he's feeling better now. Oh, no worries. Uh, happy to help. No, no, I, I can't guarantee that I'll stop making especially vicious references to your rollouts. But look, look, if, if you want me to stop, then then don't overdo it. Don't oversell. I mean, Phil went bonkers over the, you know, the last rollout, you know, over the bouquet slider thingy on the iPhone. Well, Samsung has been doing it for like a year. You know, admit your mistakes. Try things, small things that might fail. And, and support the Mac and make, make them affordable. Is that too much to ask? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yes. As, as soon as it came out of my mouth, I, I knew it was a stupid thing to say. Yeah, okay. Uh, it was nice talking with you, Tim. Yeah. Bye. Just a reminder that space travel is not for weenies. Welcome back safely, guys.